Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? And let's just jump, jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, for Aries. What can Aries expect in love? What can Aries expect in love? Secret admirers, you've caught someone's eye. Difficult decision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. And then we have new beginnings at the bottom of the deck. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. All of the decks that I use are in the description box. Um, so I feel like this is for those of you who uh, this would be a connection that would lead to something new. So if you're already with someone, then this probably won't be uh, the reading for you, most likely. Uh, I feel like this is someone who either you have your eye on or they have their eye on you, but something hasn't officially like started. Oh, but then I see parting ways at the right behind that. So this could have been somebody that you separated from in the past so we'll see what does Aries need to know spirit regarding love what does Aries need to know regarding love what does Aries need to know regarding love Seven of Cups, Death, Scorpio Energy. Six of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely something here with the past. Something must have ended in the past. I also feel like maybe there's a decision here to end or change something in order for this new beginning to happen. Um, because this new beginning was at the bottom of the deck when I pulled Difficult Decision. So it's almost like maybe someone needs to decide whether to end something from the past make a different choice here have seven of cups death and six of cups i feel like this choice is probably tied to the past in some way what's at the bottom of the deck the chariot cancer energy moving forward moving on let's see what this is about tell me about the seven of cups why is the seven of cups here the world okay so this is definitely a decision towards you know maybe ending a cycle or starting a new cycle it's, it's, it's going to head towards something new, this decision. Now, at the bottom of the deck, I have the moon, Pisces energy. So this could be somebody that's unsure, doubtful, uh, isn't very clear on which decision to make. Maybe it's a difficult decision for, I mean, it's a difficult decision for a reason, but maybe it's a difficult decision for many reasons, right? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Can I get one more for the Seven of Cups? Why is the seven of cups here and aries feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you six of pentacles um interesting i'm seeing the two of pentacles here i'm not sure why but i am there is a scale here so you know this back i feel like this is very back and forth energy um Maybe someone's intuitively thinking of what decision to make. I do have the King of Pentacles, okay, and the King of Swords after that. Um, I feel like someone's trying to figure out the best way to go about this. Um, obviously, this is the Seven of Cups. Not every cup is equal. Not every cup will lead to the right future. And that's something that is very important to think about with the Seven of Cups. It can be a card about illusions, about seeing something in a cup that's not there. And so you might make the wrong decision. But I feel like someone here is trying to, you know, think of the best decision to make uh, regarding this ending. I feel like this is about an ending for a lot of you um, or for your person. Can I get one more about the Seven of Cups? What do I need to know about the Seven of Cups? The Lovers, Gemini Energy. So this is about a partnership. 
Someone could be ending a partnership or choosing a partner here. Interesting. And then I have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. This could be, um, there could be someone that's already in some sort of a partnership here or has a home with someone. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Why is death here? Three of Pentacles. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Knight of Swords. Page of Wands. This is communication and the wheel. Why the Three of Pentacles? Before I say what I'm thinking here, why is the Three of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Nine of Wands. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is about something new. The Death card, the Fool, new beginnings, the world. Um, this is this is very clear reading to an extent. I feel like this is about someone that needs to take a risk um, to start something new, to take the initiative towards something new, especially with the Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. Um, this could be that somebody has realized a certain truth or is being very honest with themselves. And maybe this is something, or honest with someone else. And this is something that's kind of propelling them forward. Now with the Nine of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles, I'm getting someone here who's maybe exhausted, tired, worn out from trying to make something work from trying to collaborate with others, work together with someone, build something with the Three of Pentacles. It's almost like someone tried and it didn't work and they're being honest with themselves about that. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? King of Wands. This is about someone being bold, going after something, taking action. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Maybe this is somebody being honest about what they truly want to do. The Hangman. Ah, oh, see? That's the thing. Okay, so the tower at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Yep. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that someone knows they should take certain action here. Someone knows that something's not working out. And someone knows there needs to be an ending or a change here. But I feel like they're unsure of this decision. Despite the fact that, you know, this would start something new, some a new beginning. There's still a difficult decision for someone to make. I feel like they're hesitating because I feel like this decision is going to be a tower moment. Or it's going to cause a tower. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Oops. Why is the Six of Cups here? Five of... What is going on with my deck? The Fool and the Three of Swords came out again. Why is the Six of Cups here? Okay, I don't know. My deck does not want to play around with me today. Like, it's just on it doing its own thing. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Cups. See, I, I knew I was thinking about the Two of Pentacles for a reason, because there's very back and forth energy here. Look at all these Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Another card about work and effort with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is about the amount of effort that something would... Okay, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Two of Cups. My goodness. Okay. So what I'm getting here with the Six of Cups, I feel like the past is what's keeping someone from um, moving forward. I don't think the Six of Cups is like a card about like a soulmate or something like that because, I mean, it could be, but I'm just not seeing that. Um, the Magician, the Two of Cups, the Five of Swords. Basically, what I'm seeing here is someone that's manifesting a soulmate or manifesting their person. Um, maybe there's an attraction here because there is secret admirer. 
it's almost like whoever is admiring the other person they know that they would have to screw someone over or do something that doesn't appear to be good so for example just an example aries if you're dealing with someone that already has a commitment right and they have their eye on you well to be with you they would have to screw over their current partner right that kind of energy I feel like for someone to manifest they would need to you know not play fair in some ways uh, this person's debating because I feel like they've probably been building something in their own life with this other person or they've probably set their life to be a certain way you know if this isn't a third party situation this is probably somebody that moved somewhere specifically for a job or likes where their life is at they've worked really hard to get there and now it's almost like the decision to be with you for whatever reason might knock them down a peg this could be financial can i get some clarity on this two of pentacles can you get some clarity please on this two of pentacles queen of wands Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They know what they want. Um, someone knows what they want. Okay, there's attraction towards something. But there's doubt. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Am I going to make the right choice? Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is someone trying to decide whether to take action here. Um, feelings are involved. Days of Cups at the bottom here eight of cups after that so yes i feel almost like someone would need to walk away from something to have this ace of cups which is kind of like the theme here so where is all of this headed for aries where is all of this headed spirit what can aries expect next what can aries expect next spirit what can aries expect ace of wands passionate new beginning what can Aries expect next? And this is something that Aries, you had a reading recently that was all about something new, something that made you very happy, something good coming your way. So if this is resonating for you, check out that reading. Tell me more for Aries. What's next for them? Four of Swords. Ace of Swords. Oh, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like someone needs to speak up here with the Four of Swords, Ace of Swords. Break the silence. Clear the air open the line of communication maybe this is somebody that's thinking about what to say tell me about this four of swords this is reminding me of the hangman i'm trying to get some clarity here why is the four of swords here spirit ace of pentacles wow another ace definitely new beginnings in store aries new beginnings in store for you um tell me more about this four of swords six of wands yeah this is kind of like the other reading Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This is someone that maybe has thought a lot about what they truly want, what success is really all about. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Justice, Libra energy. Things being fair, balanced, made right. Look at this energy. Justice, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, with the Four of Swords, I, I won't lie. I think that even though someone wants to move quickly with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, this Hangman um, is making me think that some and the eight, and the Seven of Cups as well with the Two of Pentacles, this kind of like doubting energy. I feel like it's going to make someone hesitate a little bit, or maybe um, it's going to cause them to think a little bit harder about what choice they need to make. But what I'm and that might take some time, you know, for them to actually decide on this. But I think once they do, this is where it's headed. I mean, I do see that. There's a lot of potential here for something new, Aries. Um, so that's what I have for you. I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Um, I'd love to hear from you as well. If you'd like to say hi in the comments or share how the story resonated. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.